In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to add a pagination and implementing infinite scrolling. If you see here, we fetch 100 items at once. That is not good for performance. So let's fetch 10 by 10 and when we scroll down, we fetch 10 more. First, let's add some styling to this ugly UI. Here inside this view, let's add styling. Let's add padding of 10. Let's add justify content center and align items center as well. Border width of half. Border radius of 10. Margin button of 10. And border color is gray. It's better than before. Now let's go and implementing pagination. Remember this function? Let's go to it inside our hook. We created inside our hooks. Use get posts. Okay, what are we gonna do here? I'm gonna tell you. We're just gonna delete this line of code and we're gonna use a hook called use infinite query. You can import it from React query. Okay, just don't forget to return it. Inside this hook, we take many properties. First, the query key, and that's a unique key to identify the query. We have learned that in the previous lesson. Let's make it fetch posts. We're gonna use this key later in other lessons, so it's important. And query function, that's what's happening when we want to scroll. And this function is gonna be fetch posts, this function. And we need another property called get next page param. This take two arguments, last page and all pages. Okay. So let's create a condition. We are using this ABI. We are using this ABI. Look. We get it from our code and we can add a pagination to it. If we add this param, page equals to one. When we press enter, we just get 10, okay? Of user ID one. We just get 10 posts from one to 10. If we add a page number two, look, we get to 20 from 11 to 20. So the param here called underscore page it's so let's add it here params page you can make it this param depend on what backend said to you it can be page it can be page num or it can be whatever backend wants in our endpoint it's underscore page okay so if we use a page one and press save, oops, we get nothing. I'm gonna tell you why later. So let's inside this function, this async, let's add page or let's call it page param. Let's initialize it with one and let's replace it with that because we will increase this. It's gonna be one and two and three and so. Now inside use infinite query, let's use this function f last page dot length equals to zero just return undefined return undefined it return undefined so don't make anything because in our last page we got no data so don't make anything else return all pages dot length plus one we do this to increment the page number. Okay, now let's go and test it. But inside our home screen, we need to do extra things. First, we need to import from our hook those things. Has next page or not? And fetch next page function. And inside flat list. But first, let's render the data. Why we don't have a data? I'm gonna tell you. 
when we use use infinite query, it return, here we return data like this. An array inside it, the data, okay? But here, when we use infinite query, it return the data like this, array, and inside this array, multiple arrays, and inside those arrays, our data, okay? So we need to get this data and to make a flat to them. So let's go here to home screen and inside this data, let's create a constant called data flatted or data array equals to data dot pages dot map. We're gonna map every page and return what the page contain. Finally, don't forget to flat this. We're gonna use flat method because this flat method, when we have array like that, for example, array of one, two, three, and array of five and six, it return it like that. One, two, three, four, five. Three, five, and six. That's what does flat do, okay? So now let's put our data array instead of data. Okay, and press save. Now we get the data here because we mapped it and flatted it. So now, finally, let's make our pagination. How to do this? I'm gonna tell you. Let's save this first and let's go here and let's create a function on reach end. On reach end. What are we gonna do in this function? We're gonna create an if condition. F has next page and it's not loading we import all of them from our hook using react query just do this function fetch next page okay and the last step we're gonna just go to our flat list and add this property on rich end and pass this function and add a one last property called on end reach threshold let's make it 0.5 now let's test great we've make it we have here one two three until 10 posts when we go down great we're still fetching them when we go at the bottom we fetch more and more look infinite scrolling we're not get to the end until we get just 100 look if you see this indicator, it's at the bottom. Let's reload again. Look, we just have a 10. When we scroll down, we get more. When we scroll down, we get more. When we scroll down, we get more until we reach the 100 of them. I hope this lesson was easy to you. If you find this lesson helpful to you, don't forget the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And thanks for the React Query functions. React Query is an amazing library. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in next lesson.